A tale of two cities, one month after Pulse. Hundreds gather in Kissimmee to heal, and protesters demanding change are arrested in Orlando. A sit-in to honor the 49 took an unexpected turn. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Lisa Bell. Those demonstrators took a stand by taking a seat inside a building that houses Senator Marco Rubio's Orlando office. They'd planned on sitting there for 49 hours, but tonight police stepped in and removed them, some willingly, others in handcuffs. New 6's Seychelle Saunders is live outside the office on Orange Avenue tonight in Seychelle. Is that protest still going on? Well, Lisa, it was supposed to be, but that all changed once the property owners told those protesters to leave, and then after that came nearly a dozen arrests. They came in with one intention, gun law reform. We want to have the truest kind of reform, comprehensive reform when it comes to all our rights, all of our equality, and standing against any kind of gun violence. And they wanted Senator Marco Rubio, an opponent of many gun law changes, to hear them loud and clear. I never want to see or go to another funeral of someone who was shot and killed in the name of evil ever again. It was supposed to be 49 hours in memory of Pulse's 49 victims posted on Rubio's turf, pushing him to work on solutions until eight hours in. Rubio, just to stand up for our communities is not fair. One by one, protesters cuffed and arrested officers, some in body armor, kicking demonstrators out for trespassing. It's very emotional to see my friends and comrades get arrested. Local officials stunned Commissioner Patty Sheehan, saying she gets the outrage and it hurt to see arrest. But I understand their passion and I understand that they're hurting because their friends were killed a lot of times and something has to change and sometimes this is the only way. She says she's working too to fix what she sees as a broken system. This is ridiculous. We can't even pass sensible gun legislation at the local level. This is this um, NRA lobby is was way too powerful and it's putting people in peril. Now, Senator Rubio says in a statement that he welcomes input from people all across the political spectrum. And his uh, people also told us that they did not have those protesters arrested. The property owner said that the building closed at 7 and they needed those people to go. Also, Orlando police telling us that they also did not want to make arrests that they had to once they told people to leave and they still wouldn't leave, ended up arresting 10 people. Reporting live in Orlando, Sashel Saunders, News 6.